Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'll be teaching you how to make pausing in the Blender game engine using the logic bricks and the scene actuators. So this is really cool and it only really works for one kind of scene. You can't have multiple scenes changing and stuff. But it's, it's still pretty cool so let's get in and let's learn how to do this. Right, so as you can see, I have just set up a quick basic game here. As you can see, cube falls down and hits a thing and falls. So it's not even really a game. And also enable GLSL shading and changes to Blender game. All right. So if you don't know how to do any of that, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube. And most of my other tutorials actually show you how to do that at the start of them. So you could either go watch them or... You could go searching YouTube how to set up like GLSL or something. So, what I want to do is this scene right here. We want to give it a name. So, we're going to give this game. So, this is going to be, and then we could, you could call that level one or something, but game will be fine. All right. So, now that we have you have your main scene set up, you want to create a new scene by clicking this little plus button and new. And as you can see, we have a new scene here. So, you want to call this something like star, start scene, all right? As you see, we've got start scene. So, we want to add in a camera. And then we're going to go Alt-R to clear the rotation and just move it up. So, as you see here, it we have a camera pointing at the ground. So, we want to add a empty. Now, this empty is going to be the controller. So this is going to basically pause or play the game and all that stuff. So this is what we're going to be using. This empty is going to be holding all that, all the logic for this basically. So making sure that we come here and change it from default to game logic. And once you do that, you'll see that it has come back to the game scene. Blend is kind of annoying like that. I wish it was continually the same scene, whichever one you change to. But isn't it? It's kind of depending on what window thing you choose over here. So just change this back to start scene. All right. So now you can see down here we have our sensors, controllers, and actuators we can add in. So we want to add an always sensor and a scene actuator. So somewhere, somewhere down here, scene. All right. And we're going to change this mode from reset to add background scene. Then we want to select our scene, which will be game. And we want to connect this up. Um, so this technique only really works for one level. I have not quite figured out how to have multiple levels. I mean, you, I'm guessing you just have another one here and then you go add background scene and then you could add something like game to or whatever your other scene was. But for now, it's only really usable for one level. So... So up here you'll notice that it's changed back to Blender Render. You want to change that back to Blender Game. also does that when you create a new scene. Now if you press play, as you can see we have our scene playing in the background. Our game scene, alright? So as you can see, it plays. Alright, so now we want to add in a, a toggle. So when we press space, we want it to pause. And then when we press space again, we want it to play. So we're going to add in a property over here. And this is going to be a boolean. I'm just going to stretch that a little bit more so we have a little bit more room. And we're going to call this stop. Alright. So now that we've got that done, we want to add a keyboard sensor. And this is going to be a space. Space bar. And then we want to add a property actuator. So property. And we want to set this to toggle. And then we want to select stop. So now if we were to connect these up, um, what you want what you want to be able to see is you want to be able to see in the corner if this is working. So this little, this little thing over here, it's gonna it says print deb de print debug info for this property. So we enable that. And also coming up here to show debug properties, you've got to enable that as well. What you see is up in the corner, as you can see, it says empty stop equals false. And if we click space, as you can see, it changes true, false, true, false, true, false. All right, so now that's set up, we want to use that so that we can basically pause and unpause the game. 
So we want to add a property sensor and we want to detect if stop is equal to true, which it is not equal to true, it's equal to false right now. All right, so when you start the game, it's equal to false. If you want to start it in, to be equal to true, just in it, click that and that's equal to true, but I'm going to leave it on false. Then we want to add a scene, another scene actuator, and we want to set the mode to uh, suspend scene right here. All right, I'm going to click that. And then we want to select the scene we want to suspend. So we're going to suspend game. All right, and then we want to connect this up. And as you'll see, when it is equal to true, it stops. And when we click false, it is still suspended. So now we want to unsuspend the scene when it equals false. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to add a in and controller or a NAND or whatever it's called right here. So we want to add that in. And what this controller does is if we get a negative output from here, as in it's not sending an, an a positive output, because an AND will send it, it will be a positive output when it comes through here and it will activate this. But when we're not getting a positive output, so when this is equal to false, it's going to activate this one and send out a true pulse through here. So you'll be able to see in a second if you didn't really understand that. So we're going to add an actuator and we're going to add a scene. And we're going to set this to resume scene. And we're going to set this to resume game. We're going to connect this up. Oh, connect this up. And what you'll see is if we press space, stop, press space again, play, stop, play, stop, play, stop, play. And that is how you set it up. So that's that's the basics of how you set a in-game pause. So I don't know if there's a way to set it up for multiple levels, but for now, you can only really set it up for one level, but it's still pretty cool. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that if your other scene is GLSL, you will need to change the scene to GLSL in the shading options because all the other scenes, as in the background scenes, are going to be using whatever shading type this has. So just make sure you use GLSL if you want your game to be GLSL. If you want your game to be multi-textured, use multi-textured. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or ideas for upcoming tutorials, comment them down below. And also subscribe if you come out with a new tutorial every single week so you can be updated about that. See you next week. Keep learning.